Today we're talking about clingy girls. What does that look like? And do guys like clingy girls? Um, so let's get into it. I wanna know that like, oh damn, like my girl, she goes to work, she gets her shit done, and she's clingy for me. That's a different story. Clingy is too clingy, like if she's just always trying to be about you or whatever, but at the same time, you know, like you gotta be, you gotta be on your shit, you gotta have your own life path. been that boy always been that fucking boy eh listen what's good everybody it's your boy dk and we are back with another episode of rude love right now it's about to be 1 a.m you know sipping a little bit just you know keeping it real right now you feel me so whenever you see me sit sitting here talking i'm usually just coming off the top with just pure facts you feel me like i'm not even thinking about shit I'm just letting it come straight to you. It's just, you know what I mean? So today we about to talk about, what are we talking about today again? Today we talking about clingy girls. What does that look like? And do guys like clingy girls? Um, So let's get into it. You know, let me think about it. So see, I'm the type of guy that like low key, like what I think people would call clingy, I think is lit. You know, like I need a certain level of like, you need to be interested in me, but that's because I don't, I don't chase, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think what they call it is choosing signals, right? See, for me, choosing signals gotta be at like a 8.5, 9, and 10 level. So I need to know that you need to fuck with me. Like, you know, I just, I just need to know that. Like, you need to make that very obvious to me. So, you know, what is clingy though? And, to a, to a guy like me, what does clingy mean? I think clingy means that like, basically you, you just have no, like, you're not really saying shit, like, but me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to know that like, oh damn, like my girl, she goes to work, she gets her shit done and she's clingy for me. That's a different story. But if she's not saying shit throughout the day, you hit her up, yo, what you been doing? nothing i've been watching tv where you at oh man i don't want to hear that you know what i'm saying or because it's like it gets to a point you know what i mean where i guess okay yeah clingy is too clingy like if she's just always trying to be about you or whatever but at the same time you know like you gotta be you gotta be on your shit you gotta have your own life path like your own purpose squared up because then you'll never really be too clingy you know because if you know what you're supposed to do out here how could you be clingy like that? Cause you have something that is like drawing you towards it. You know what I'm saying? So you're always gonna like prioritize that. You know what I'm saying? Over everything else, over everybody else. So that's like a, a top number one thing. So, you know, I've always been big on purpose. You know, I think men need purpose a lot more than women. I think that women can kind of find their purpose through a man or not find their purpose through a man, but like in some ways, like kind of play that like auxiliary role, like in a way, you know, like that real helping hand, like, you know, that is like to me where you're gonna build something crazy nice you know as long as he has his own drive and this and that then you guys will go somewhere trust me you know you got to have your own thing going on you know what i'm saying in general here's another thing too right is this like there's kind of levels to it like you kind of almost have to look at it like you have to grant him access to certain things you know what i'm saying like so for example like if you you know, you guys have been sleeping together and then you basically hit him with the yo, like if if you want to keep on like sleeping with me, you're going to have to not sleep with other girls. Like, see, that's like the good way to move about it, because now you're basically saying, all right, well, there's criteria to getting with me. And then that's cool because that sets a standard. You know what I'm saying? Whereas if you didn't base it on any concrete like requirements and you were just like so are we just gonna be exclusive or you know like is it just me like that type of thing and it's kind of like well just you for what like you think i'm just gonna cut every all my like 
things off just for you like for what like you know it'd be different it'd be like okay well me and you are like sexually like active okay maybe not have that with other people that's that's one thing but like you know then you want to like make sure he's not talking to nobody when he's just talking to you i mean it's just kind of crazy you know what i mean you got to be realistic because i'm sure you're not cutting off other guys you're probably keeping your roster wide open are you really you know are you when guys hit you up are you saying nah i have a man like right away probably not you know what i'm saying so you can't be putting unrealistic like expectations on 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 a man you feel me so i mean it's kind of not fair because like like i said like i like a, a clingy girl low-key like she gotta know she gotta she gotta be showing that interest in me you know what i'm saying because straight up like i feel like in some ways like if you're just not into a girl then you're gonna think she's clingy like she's showing interest but you're not fucking with it too much oh uh, she's clingy you know what i mean but if, if you're fucking with it and she's showing that interest, then that could be wifey, you know? So I don't know. Like, that's where, you know, you got to basically, like, read the signs and you got to see what's going on to be like, okay, well, he views me as clingy. Maybe I'm just not fucking it. You know what I mean? Like, it could be that simple. I feel like we got to have those, like, real life moments. Those real, like, moments where we just look at what's going on. You got to take in the fucking signs, you know, of what's going on and be like, all right, he's not fucking with me, yo straight up he's not fucking with me so either i gotta change shit up which is not pressing him for commitment and all that because that would be clingy maybe you just need to fall back a little bit and be like yo like all right i'm not even gonna hit this nigga up man i'm just gonna let him go like you know let him go like whatever if he goes he goes then if he starts to pull back pull you back then you gotta be like okay okay so you know so you are fucking with it. So now that's where you have leverage. Leverage is got to be the biggest word you're going to learn in life, man. You always got to have leverage. Because with no leverage, you don't have anything. You know, you got to make sure, okay, well, he wants me. So what does he want from me? You got to also isolate that. Does he want my attention? Does he want my body in terms of like, does he just want sex from me? Does he want romance? You know, there's a lot of shit that he might want. So you got to isolate that first and then you'll know, okay, what kind of leverage do you have? You know what I'm saying? And work from there because love, I think they were saying love is war. You know what I mean? And I think that's kind of true because nobody's safe out here. This is 2021, man. Nobody's safe, yo. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have your ducks in a row. You gotta like, you know what I mean? Come to battle prepared, you know what I'm saying? And know what you're doing. So, so, cause you can't be out here looking clingy, yo. Trust me. You don't want to be looking out here looking crazy and shit like that. So, you know what I'm saying? But know what you got though. Cause if you got that fire, then you shouldn't even be trying to give it out like that. You shouldn't even be trying to give it out like that. You know what I'm saying? If you got that fire... Trust me, yo, you should be trying to, you should be straight. You know, I think, I think the baddest bitches low key are the ones that you wonder, like, does this girl even, like, does she even need anybody, bro? Like, or is she just on her, like, you know what I mean? Like, you down there thinking, like, this girl doesn't fuck with nobody. Like, that is the lit ones, yo. She's just doing her yoga. She's just fucking reading books and all that kind of shit. She's not clinging to nobody because she on her own shit. Yeah, that's pretty lit. That's pretty lit, if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully that gave you guys a little bit of insight on what clinginess means to a man. I hope you guys use that shit to your advantage. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, I'm trying to help you guys, like, level up. I'm trying to help you, like, just navigate through. Like I said, love is war. You know what I'm saying? So... God, you can't be out here taking a knife to a gunfight. Come on now. Big Rude Boy, I'm signing off, y'all. Peace.